I guess first off, uh, I mean, it's, it's been hard for you to focus on your fight. You got all this wrestling going on, man. I imagine that's been taking up your time. Yeah, I, uh, you know, I tell people all the time, it's like, I, I'm a fighter, but man, I, I spend like just as much time coaching wrestling and, and being there for my kids and stuff as as I do fighting. So, but I, I really enjoy it, man. I, I wouldn't want it any other way. That's awesome, man. Well, let's talk about your fighting career. I mean, obviously you had to withdraw uh, earlier this year with the injury. Um, what exactly happened? A rib injury, I believe? What, what exactly happened? <laughs> yeah, I uh, when I was younger, probably like 15, I suffered a rib injury. And, uh, you know, it just always kind of, since I'm always like wrestling and, and, and you know, combat sports, it's always kind of just catching up to with me uh, here and there. And I suffered a little injury last camp. And, you know, it was like, it was a weird situation to where, other people were telling me, like my coaches and everything, were like, "Hey, man, you should consider pulling out." And I never even like I like I had considered it, but like to me, it wasn't a an option, you know. And then I, I honest I honestly had to get like talked into it. So, uh, so it, it you know I I it was a tough decision, but it was a smart decision. I'm glad because you know in in reality, I'm I'm much more prepared this time around. Nice. I guess that's kind of that wrestler's mentality, right? Just yeah, going there and doing. So, uh, who, what, what finally convinced you? Like, who finally got you? Go, all right, I, I, I give up. Uh, it was, a, it was a number of people, and then, um, you know, I would say like DC or Hov were kind of like the cherry at the top when they're both like kind of just saying like, hey man, like don't, you know, don't, don't risk your career just trying to be tough, you know. So, um, you know, but like I said, it's the wrestler mentality, right? Like, dude, I have so many injuries. I have so many things I could probably have surgery on. But I just, it's like if, if I if I can if I can get up and go, I generally do. Nice. So with the ribs, I mean, there's really like nothing you can do, right? Just rest. Yeah, basically? you have to rest. Yeah. Um, it was almost like a blessing in disguise too, because we have a, a big tournament uh, this summer called Fargo. It's every every summer, and I actually got to go with the kids. I was probably gonna miss out because of my fight, so I actually got to go with the kids. Um, but yeah, man, it was good. You know, I took uh, that time off that I was out of town and then, uh, you know, I just got right back to it, you know, nice and easy until I felt like I could, I could, you know, start turning up the pace. Nice. And then the UFC rebooked the matchup. Um, yeah. were, were you surprised that, that was the case or were you, were you excited? What'd you think about that? Well, yeah, I mean, I think part of the reason I was reluctant to pull out of the fight is I like this matchup a lot. Um, you know, I think it's a good matchup for both of us. Um, I think the winner of this fight, you know, kind of, you know, projects themselves into a new, new, new space. So, um, I was like, dang, I, uh, I, I know that especially in, you know, we're not like fighting for the title or anything like that. They generally find a new opponent and, uh, you know, I guess they didn't, they couldn't come, you know, to an agreement to a new opponent or something. And, uh, I think that, you know, I think Mick and, 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 uh, and the UFC kind of wanted this matchup. So, and I told him, I was like, I'm down to fight him on a later date. I just, I'm just a little injured right now, you know? And so, um, yeah, I was surprised, but I was happy. I'm happy that we, we rebooked the same fight. So when you say you like the matchup, right? I mean, obviously both of you guys have something around your name. I see what you're saying in terms of elevating yourself, but is there something stylistically about the matchup you like as well? Um, yeah, man. I, uh, you know, uh, Phil's a wrestler. And, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm, f I'm familiar with him. I have been since we were younger. Um, and, you know, I, 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 I like to think and I know that uh, my wrestling is better than his. And, um, you know, I think he's done a lot of things to um, put himself into a better space as an overall MMA fighter. Uh, but I still think he relies off his grappling and stuff uh, occasionally. And I think that I will cause a... Uh, you know, a big, big mishap for him there. And, and you know, I, I like to think that my, my striking's a little underrated and he's one of the shorter guys in the division. So uh, it, I think it'll help me uh, be able to showcase my striking skills as well. Nice. So when you say it goes back to your younger days, do you mean younger MMA days or are you talking about all the way back to wrestling oh, days? Oh, wrestling, bro. I mean, he was always like a nationally ranked guy out of like high school. I, I want to say we're we were right around the same age. Uh, you know, he's either a little older than me or a little younger than me, like just like a year or two. Um, but, you know, I always saw him in the you know rankings. We never wrestled, uh, but which is, you know, we could have wrestled at any moment, really. Uh, we just never kind of matched up. And I don't think we were ever in the same bracket either. Um, weird enough. But, um, yeah, so I've known him. I've known who Phil Hawes was since I was probably at least 15 years old. So it's crazy. Yeah, that's awesome. It's a small so world, man. Obviously, this is an MMA fight. You got to go out there and throw hands and stuff. But is there a part of you that wants to go in there and just shoot a blast double on him or run the pipe on him? Say like, do you have to get a takedown on him too? Um, 
Yeah, I mean, I would like, 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 as you know, I guess my pride as a wrestler, and I, I'm so forward as a wrestler, and I coach wrestling. Um, obviously, I want to win the wrestling exchanges, but um, whatever presents itself out there, I, I'll be ready for. Nice. I guess last thing for me, what, what is the goal here overall? I mean, you, I know you still have a real passion for wrestling, but I mean, are you? Are you all in on MMA at this point? I mean, is it like win and get attention and start running for the title? Or is this just, you know, take some fights here and there? I mean, what, what is the goal right now? My goal is uh, to live a comfortable life. Um, comfortable in the, in the sense that I did the right things to put myself to, to live a comfortable life. And um, with fighting, uh, you know, obviously the gold belt sounds awesome, right? Um, yeah. Do I want to make a run for that? Absolutely. Um, but I also want to, you know, project my career in the way that I'm making the right amount of money for, for the right amount of fights. And um, I, I want to just be, you know, still happy with being able to compete at this type of level and but also being compensated, you know, the right way and, and you know, just living a good life for what I put in. So um, obviously the easy part, the easy way for me would be just to quit and coach wrestling, right? Like that, that would just be the easy route. Uh, but I've never been average and I never will be. And, uh, uh, you know, it gets tough, but, um, but I, I'm all in on fighting, 100%. I, I'd like to think, or I know that this fight, this last fight camp, I've kind of had a, a newfound motivation of um, – of who I want to be and, and what type of fighter I want to be and how hard I want to train and, you know, not feeling sorry for myself and, and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, it's, I, I'm in a new light right now and I, I'm, I'm, I'm in a good place and I'm really happy with where I'm at. So, um, yeah, I, I'm ready to, to, to start this, this, this upward rise the, the way I'm supposed to. Over here. I want to, hi, I want to go back to the injury a little bit. Um, you know, we hear fighters talking about fighting injured all the time. Um, sometimes it pays off and sometimes it doesn't. Do you think going forward, you'll always kind of take that advice of not fighting injured or will it depend on the fight? Will it depend on the injury? What's kind of your philosophy there? Uh, it'll just depend on the injury. I, uh, you know, with the rib, it's so delicate in the sense that, you know, you can't do anything to make it better except rest, literally just rest. Um, you know, maybe a little stretching, some ice, you know, taking care of the inflammation, just all the regular things you would do anyways for, for body maintenance. But I, uh, moving forward, I, I will probably, I'm, I'm generally a pretty good judge at, at how my body feels and, and what I, what I need to do to be able to compete. Uh, just cause I've been doing it since I, I can remember. Right. Um, but it, it's always good to, to have some people around you that you respect and can trust and, and kind of guide you in the right, you know, decision-making way. And why do you think the fighters fight so often injured? I mean, I think the obvious answer is because you guys are tough. I know where you're going with this. <laughs> or you think I'm going Because with they're broke. Everybody's broke. Um, yeah, I think a lot of people uh, fight because they're broke. Um, and just, you know, it, it's broke and just the fighter mentality, you know, just like kind of uh, – the caveman, like meathead, like, I'm going to fight. I don't care if I'm hurt. I'm not a pussy, you know? Um, so it's, it's such a gray area in if, can you fight? Like, can you really fight? You have to be honest with yourself. Or are you fighting because you got you got bills to pay? You're afraid somebody's going to call you a pussy, you know? But those are things you always have to ask yourself. Um, in, a, in combat sports, you have to be honest with yourself. Yes, the, the guidance from other people help kind of make your decision. Um, they'll help you be honest with yourself. But, uh, but I, I, I do think that the main reason that people fight is probably because they're broke or they need it or, or they, they, they don't want anybody to call them a pussy. Thank you. Mm -hmm.